God created the world challenging us to choose good over evil. But when Mashiach comes, the world will be perfect. What challenge will we have then? In other words, you're saying that almost, Mashiach is almost anticlimactic. You, the, the struggle of life is because of the entanglement of good and evil. And we believe, Taylor teaches us, that these challenges make us better and reveal additional light. When Mashiach comes, the world is perfect. If when Mashiach comes, the world is perfect, so it's almost like the coming of Mashiach is a disappointment. It's defeating the purpose of creation. So there's a couple of points. Number one, there is a cant of Pasuk that describes a period which is called Yomim She'ein Behem Chayfetz. There's a period of time when there's going to have no dots, no desire, because everything is not going to be perfect and there'll be nothing to do. So it's Ein Behem Chayfetz. Now, of course, this is a very uncomfortable idea because it doesn't make sense that the schar for work is nothing. But let's leave Yom Shem Yom Chayfetz for a different time. What's important for you to understand, and this is very critical, is that the statement that you made is false. Mashiach is not about a perfect world. It's just not true. The idea that Mashiach ushers in a perfect age is a simplification. And forgive me for saying it, it's a Christian idea, it's a Goyish idea. And it's Pashat not true. If you want to know what Mashiach is, open up a Rambam. Hilchas Tshuva, Pedic Tes. And in Hilchas Malacha Pedigid Beis Halacha Dalit, and see what the Rambam says about Mashiach. And I'll tell you briefly what it says so you'll be able to understand. You're right, there is a period of time which is Yom Shem Bem Chayfet, but that's not Mashiach. We're trying to bring Mashiach for a totally different reason. What Mashiach is is a separate thing, but it's also not perfect. And perfection has got a third thing. So let me address th- two of the three points. The idea of Yom HaMashayim Bem Chayfetz, I'm not ready to address at the moment. But first of all, why do we want Mashiach? So again, there's a lot of misunderstanding about what the Mashiach is. And yes, it's true that the Rebbe would always scream and say that the Indian of Mashiach is for tzaddis. The Eibishter has taught us, Yidin have taught us, Shechinta Begalus, and so on. But there's a basic teaching of the Rebbe, which is that we want Mashiach so that the world could achieve its Shleimus. What's the Shleimus of the world? That there should be what the Rebbe calls Shleimus Ha'am, and Shleimus Ha'aretz, and Shleimus Ha'teir. And that the Shleimus Ha'am, and Shleimus Ha'aretz, and Shleimus Ha'teir, in a narrow way, is connected to Eretz Yisrael and Jewish people. And in a broader way, it's connected to all of the humanity and the whole world, the whole globe. <clears throat> Think about it in these words. The Tate is the blueprint of the world. If the Tate is the blueprint of the world, the world reflects the Tate. When was the last time the whole Tate was practiced on earth? When was the last time every aspect of Tate, in as much as the blueprint of the world, was evident in the building that was created by that blueprint? And the answer is never. It never happened. In the time of Shleim HaMelech, the best of times, we could keep 612 and two-thirds mitzvahs out of the total of 613 mitzvahs. There was always something we couldn't complete. And Mashiach is allowing us to do all of the mitzvahs, Taryag mitzvahs, 630 mitzvahs completely in the whole of Eretz Yisrael, by the whole of the Jewish people. And it's not only because Hashem wants more mitzvahs. It's because until this world tolerates all of the mitzvahs. It's a shayla on the Abish's balabatashkite of this world. Hashem created the world. Is he the boss or is he not the boss? If he's the boss, he can do what he wishes. How could it be he made a world based on a blueprint and the machine is not performing to the uh, instruction manual that's saying it should perform? The machine is performing uh, you know, it says in Svarim that we have only 86 mitzvahs now. Pevav mitzvahs, I say, out of, out of 248. So you have a machine, and the machine comes along with an instruction manual. And the instruction manual says this machine can do kach v'kach, and it's doing half or a third or two-thirds. It's a shaila on the machine. What kind of manufacturer is this? The world needs to be in a state of shleimus so that the world should reveal that it's the Abish, this world. 
and that the Tedus Taka Balabayas over the world. That's the concept of Mashiach, the way it's explained in Rambam, Shleimus HaTedav HaMitzvah, all of Yidin, living in a whole of Eretz Yisrael, doing all of the mitzvahs, which shows how the whole world is about, belongs to HaKadosh Baruch. That's point one. In terms of what we are achieving, so the Rambam says this, that when li- the Rambam goes in the Shita, that when life is hard, you can do less. And when life is better, you can do more. You know, we have other Sifrei Muslims who say the opposite. That the true infinity of the person reveals itself in the difficult times. But the Ramam doesn't hold that. The Ramam holds that if a Jew is going to do well, he has to have a good environment. Who only when you're healthy can you serve Hashem and so on. So Mashiach is an opportunity to live in a good world, which is not so challenged. So you can do Tehidah Mitzvahs better. So now, because of the challenges, we can't do Tehidah Mitzvahs as well. Law said, love because there'll be fewer challenges, we'll be able to do mitzvahs perfectly. The idea that the world is perfect and there's nothing for us to do is not But Yemei Samashiach is absolutely a world of challenge. And the Rebbe has a sicha, I mentioned before the sicha, there's two sichas. There's one sicha on the Teir of Mashiach and there's one sicha on the Teir of La Love. The sicha on the Teir of Mashiach is Shvuas Tavshan and Aleph. And the Sikh of Elam Haba is from Tishrei Tafshin and Beis. Hatayda. Halachas Tayrish Bapeh. Ainah Batayim Liyelam. And when the Rebbe says, in the Sikh is after Mashiach comes to like Beis Shammai, as opposed to Beis Hillel. But not because we're more afraid of Klippa, so you have to be more Machmir. But because by not doing things, by having a higher no, you're bringing down a light of a Lakus, which can only be brought down indirectly. So Lassad Love is also going to be a yes and a no. But the yes and a no is not going to be a confused yes and a no. It's going to be a challenge to push ourselves beyond our limits and to reveal a higher light.